A lot of times when I'm working on basses, I don't like taking the bass and running every part of the frequency spectrum through all the different processes. So I'll split it up and a lot of times I'll put the high end a little wider than the low end. I don't like the sound of real wide, hard pan, low end and low frequencies on just about anything. So if I've got low frequency kick drums, I tend to pan those mono, same thing for bass. Now once you, once you separate those, a lot, of, a lot of neat things can happen. So let me show you what I started with. This is a song by, uh, produced by Adam Toon, really cool production. Here's the original bass. What I've done is I've made two copies, and so we've got the original and then these copies. Now, think of this as high frequency, mid frequency, and low frequency. Let me show you what I've done to the high frequencies. Now you can use anything to spread them. Of course, they're panned, but you can spread them a, a little wider if you want. I'm using a vitalizer. Now, the, the mid frequencies, And then here's the low frequency. Okay, let me let me show you, let me show them to you all together. You don't have to get these perfect now. Um, here's the here's the high. Let's put this guy here. Let's put the the mid here. And here's the low. Let's put that guy here. So you can see the overlaps are not exactly perfect. Uh, I came up with these because I thought they fit the track better. You can, you can emphasize, you can actually EQ with this, like the overlap will actually be a little louder. So if you want a little more of that, or if, you can widen the gap if you want a little bit less of that frequency. Okay. Now, I felt that some of the low frequencies in the bass were kind of killing my low end on my kick a little bit. So I decided to side chain it. But now with this system, remember like Jason Joshua said in his episode, the most recent one, we can just put a side chain on the lowest frequencies. So this is what we've got when we do that. Here's my kick drum and you'll see, here's my send. Here's 45, 45, check it out. So I'm knocking off about 6 dB every time the kick drum hits. Now, let, me, let me play that what that sounds like. Without it. What I want you to listen to is um, the low end of the kick. Don't listen to the bass. Make your ear listen just to the kick. Without it. With. It feels like the low end on the kick got louder because we removed that frequency from the bass. Okay? Now, let's do the entire bass. Let's add everything back in. Now there's a, you can do this with lots of things. You can do it with guitars and mid range. You can do it with vocals. You can do it with any number of things as always. But uh, I thought you might get a kick out of seeing how uh, we do this when Jason mentioned it, mentioned it on the show. Okay.